Hello everyone and welcome to this Python Code Vision Testing Series. In this particular tutorial, we will be learning about the static methods. So let's begin. So what are the static methods? For that, let me open the notepad here and let me write it down. So when we talk about the static methods, these are the methods, the methods within class that does not access or modify instance specific data and when we talk about these static methods basically we need to use the decorator in order to make a method as a static method so the decorator which we need to use is basically at the rate static method okay as it will not be considered as a static method then when we are creating the static method, we don't need a self parameter. And the reason is that as they don't interact with the instance attributes. And when we need to call these methods, these methods are accessed directly by the class without creating an instance. Okay. So if I go here and write the syntax for you. So syntax is very simple. So basically class class the name class name class name and here we need to give a decorator which is static method and here you need to define a method so method name and the parameters of the method parameters and then we have the method code over here method okay so this is a very uh, simple syntax in order to create the static methods now let's go to the python and uh, let me create a new python file and let me name it as static method so let's uh, create a very basic static method so i'm creating a very basic class here so for example math utils for example this is my name of the class and here i need to create a method def add underscore numbers and it will take a comma b and then it will simply return a plus b now in order to make it a static method what i need to do is i need to use a decorator so i will type static method you can see that just like this one now this particular method is a static method now in order to call this method we don't need to create an instance we can directly call this so let me write it down here so result is equal to math utils dot you know we, you can see that this add numbers and for example i need to add 5 into 10 and let's print results so if i run this one you will see that you will getting the answer 15 over here so here you see that this particular method is basically a static method and we didn't create any instance in order to access this particular method over here okay and when why we need in, in which cases we need to create these static methods so these are useful for the methods that don't need to modify or access instance data okay so if you have this kind of situation always go with the static methods and other thing is that it helps to group related functions within a class without needing any instances okay so now let's take uh, some real time example let's let me remove this line of code from here and simply create a class another class so this is my converter class so basically this converter will convert kilometer to the miles celsius to fahrenheit okay and we know that when we are calculating or converting kilometers to the miles we have a specific formula and it won't change right 
So this for this case, I will be getting a static method over here. Okay. So I will say add static method and I will say def so kilometers to to miles and I need to pass the kilometers to this one so that it can convert into the miles and the formula is basically simple so we will go with the return and it should return kilometers into 0 0.6 I guess something like that so if you multiply kilometer into 0.6 so it will convert it to the miles okay and let's create another starting method because this formula will remain same so we don't need to create the other kind of the methods here that's why we are getting a static method over here now def celsius to fahrenheit okay and here we need to pass the celsius and here again the formula is very simple so we don't so basically it's celsius into 9 upon 5 and then we need to plus with 30. so this is a simple formula so i have created so i have actually created a real time example over here this class is basically used for the convergence of different things for kilometer to miles celsius to fahrenheit and here this thing won't change so so that's why I've created a static method over here. Now, what I'll say miles is equals to converter dot kilometers to miles, and I will provide, for example, five over here. And simply, I will say print, and I'll say print the miles. So if I run this one, so it will give us this particular value. Okay, so it it multiplies kilometers into this one and we it gives us to the miles okay and now um, same goes for this one and here i will say temp temp in fahrenheit okay so temp f temp f equals to then converter dot Fahrenheit to Celsius and we need to provide this value. So let's suppose 5, 25 degrees centigrade is equal to, let's see how much is equal to. So simply go here into the print and I will print this temp over here. Okay. So let's run this one. Now we will get that is equal to 77. Okay. So basically if I summarize and this one for you so basically a static method is a method within a class it's a method within a class and that does not access or modify the instance specific data and in order to make it a static method we need to use a decorator add static method and this particular static method don't take the self parameter because they don't interact with the instance attributes and when we need to call it we can simply call it with the class name okay and when we talk about the key benefits the key benefits are very simple direct access via class no need to create an instance good for related functions like we have these kind of related functions because these functions are related in terms of conversion okay and because it keeps related functionality at one place and then finally ideal when a method doesn't interact with the instant attributes then in this particular case you need to use a static method thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial